Now uh, I'm going to show how to upload uh, DDL scripts uh, into Apex and uh, run the DDL statement. So uh, you can do that from uh, SQL Workshop and you click on SQL scripts. Okay, it will uh, go to this window. Okay, so there is an upload button here. So click on the button and choose file okay and open it and you can name the file and then upload the file okay once the file uh, has been uploaded it will be uh, listed here so you can uh, there is a run here okay you can click on the run button to run the statement Okay, run now. Okay, uh, so this page will uh, show you all the uh, feedback uh, from running the statement. So as you can see here, there are a few errors uh, at the top here. Okay, this is uh, caused by the drop table statement because uh, the statement is trying to drop the table that is not exist. Okay. So we can just ignore this uh, message because uh, we uh, are going to create the table uh, right after the drop table statement here. Okay, so you can press uh, next to show uh, the rest of the uh, feedbacks. Okay, so now uh, we can go to uh, SQL Workshop. Okay, so you can look at the object browser and look at the list of the table. So now we have uh, new tables added to the uh, schema. Okay, you can see branch, client, uh, private owner, property foreign, uh, registration, staff, student and viewing okay, from Dream Home uh, database. So we can go to SQL commands and look for uh, the table as well. So you can uh, do a select statement here. So if you want to see what uh, are the record in the uh, viewing table, so you can do like that. Select all from uh, viewing. Okay, and then you can run the statement. Okay, so it will display all the records inside a viewing table. So, if we want to select uh, a certain uh, column, okay, not all columns, so we can replace the asterisk symbol too. For example, we want to show only client number, uh, property number. Okay, from viewing, so you can click on run and you can see uh, on the client number and property number are displayed uh, as uh, the results. Okay, uh, and to restrict uh, the rules, you can further add the uh, where statement. Okay, for example, if you want to show only uh, information about uh, client number CR56, so we can write where client number is equal to uh, 56. Okay, and then we can click on the run button. Sorry, so this is actually CR56. Okay, so now it will only display the information for client number uh, CR56.